Hey there, friends. This is Riley Kilo, and instead of a bedtime story, I'm going to be talking a little bit about what we're all going through right now and a bit of a content warning for, you know, anxiety, depression, stuff like that. So here we go. Well, first, I want to say that there's no series of mantras or anything that are going to keep people from experiencing these things. Some people need therapy or, or medication, and uh, but for me, what's helped me a lot um, is just understanding how those things affect my daily life and, and being present and thinking about, okay, I'm anxious now. Uh, anxiety and depression are not things like sadness or, or worry. Um, they're pests. You know, it's kind of the difference between a phobia and just a fear. You know, um, people aren't snake phobic because snakes can actually get you. <laughs> so anxiety is not uh, caution or nervousness. It's more a um, series of, of feelings of just, I can't control what's happening and um, there's nothing I can really do about it. And so I'm just going to be anxious. Uh, depression is very much the same way. You can't solve depression by, you know, cheering up or, or putting on a smile or anything. Um, it's something persistent and it's a bit of a pest in our lives. So um, it's something that people who face that, and I have a feeling a lot of people in the world who may have laughed off things like anxiety or depression um, are coming face to face in them. And, and some people who have not had a history of loss or, or, or of uh, kind of instability are facing all that just within a course of a couple weeks. So being present is something that's helped me a lot when I'm realizing I'm irrationally depressed or irrationally anxious or that I'm worrying or, or being frustrated about something that I can't control, I just have to take a moment and acknowledge that. And same with depression. When I wake up in the morning and things just feel hopeless, I need to just say, okay, that's the pest. That's the feeling I'm experiencing right now. And, and it's it's a bit irrational, but it's something I'm experiencing and it's valid. But at the same time, it's something that I, I can work through, and it's something I can sit down for a moment and go, okay, this is what I'm experiencing. You know, it's maybe going to go away, or maybe it's something that I need to change up what I'm doing or change up my pattern, or these things are happening in my head and that I need to calm myself down. Some people count to 10, some people hug a stuffy, and some people just take a moment and breathe and and think and, and realize, you know, be aware of what's going on in your body and, and be situationally aware about what's going on around you and, and certain triggers like the news or, or um, even other stressors that happen in our life. You just need to take a moment and take a breath. So I'm not a clinician and I don't um, propose that this is for everybody or whatever, but for me, it's always helped just to take a moment and to realize what's going on in my body. And, and sometimes it's tough and sometimes you panic and sometimes you feel super sad. And, and um, it's not a method to cure these things, but more a method to uh, ride out the waves. Because I know that I'm going to be facing these issues my entire life. I equate what's happening in the world right now in many ways to grief and the feelings you have from that in the sense that you'll be talking about a movie or, or doing the dishes or something, and then all of a sudden that brick wall will come up where you think, oh, well, that's happening. So whatever I think about, you know, is less important than what's happening right now. And uh, when I hit that moment, be it thinking about a, a past friend that was lost or... or um, a regretful moment in my life, I just have to ride out the waves and just go, okay. Something that's always helped me in my life is K sera sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future is not ours to see. K sera sera. That's all I have to say for now, and I think things are going to be all right. There's going to be a lot of changes, and there's going to be some people... Uh, facing some serious loss and some serious strife and anxiety and depression and everything that comes from this. And I just want to know that I love you and that things are going to be okay and that there's people out there that um, are going to come together for our fellow citizens in this world. And, and uh, my heart 
goes out to everybody out there and um you know we'll we'll make it through this we're we're tough and and i i have a feeling that kindness and 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 the generosity of others and the um the good that i optimistically hope is within every person shines through and that we we get through this together and and venture into this brave new world you know um with a positive positive mindset so um just take a breath um and you know think positive and um i'll be here rooting for you so thank you so much for listening and um more happy stuff soon okay bye